What does it take to recreate a dinosaur skeleton? Join us on a tour of a dinosaur bone preparation lab and find out. When paleontologists find dinosaur bones in the field, they wrap them in plaster and send them to a dinosaur lab like this one. This is the uh, physical preparation laboratory. This is where we take the uh, fossils out of the uh, jackets. This is what the fossil looks like when we bring it in from the field. So in the field, what we, what we do is we, we, we find a fossil, we excavate around it, get all the way around it, and then kind of get underneath it, kind of make it kind of a mushroom, and cover it with, with this plaster. And when that hardens up, then we can roll it over and then plaster the bottom side of it. If we go over here, you can see a, a jacket that, uh, that we're working on. This is the skull of Taurosaurus. And it, the top of the jacket has been removed, cut off, and then the bottom of the jacket is still supporting the fossil. So even though there's lots of cracks in this thing, having it supported underneath is allowing allows the preparators to get in here and clean the specimen up and get glue into it while it's still sitting in part of its jacket. If we go over here, we can see what Susan's doing. She's, she has uh, removed some bones from a, from a plaster jacket. Here's the, the jacket was, was opened up and then she took, took the specimen literally out of the jacket and here's parts of it. And, and she's doing sort of the fine detail cleaning uh, of, a, of a little tail, uh, a tail of a, of a dinosaur called Tenontosaurus, a little plant-eating dinosaur. So that's, that's, that's pretty much the, how it's done. And once, once it gets to that point, once it gets clean, then we take the fossils and, and do one of two things. We either take them into our collection and put them away for future study, or we take them to another special laboratory where we destroy them. This isn't really the destruction lab. This is the histology lab. And the histology laboratory is a, is a place where we take the bones, bring it in here, and cut it. Just, just like a, using a diamond saw, cut it open so we can look at the inside. But just having it cut like that is, I mean, that's, that doesn't give us much information. So what we do is we take this whole thing and, and impregnate it with, in, with a plastic. So we put the bone in a plastic resin and then slice it so that we can take the, the slice and put it on a piece of glass. And then once we have it on a piece of glass, we can grind it down thin enough so that you can see through it. And when you have it thin enough to see through, then you can take it to a microscope. And what we're looking at is a cross section through the femur. And the red that you see in there is actually the, the bone. And get a little closer up here. And do you see the orange, mm -hmm. the little bits of orange? And up in here, kind of the blue, the blue and the orange is actually uh, the fibrous part of the bone, the collagen. And if we actually look a little bit closer, we actually see the little, you see the little black dots? Uh -huh. Those are actually the cells, or at least the, where the cells were when the dinosaur was alive. <clears throat> That's where the cells were that laid down the bone. Scientists study the cells and the bones of dinosaurs to learn more about what these ancient creatures looked like, how they lived, and how they died. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org.